I making the swatch so giant over here? I'm just still working on the swatch for some reason. Hey guys, welcome back. So got a requested video for y'all today. I've got a lip swatch party for y'all on the Sephora cream lip stains the new shades that I've picked up. So I think I have nine different shades here. So I'm gonna do like I normally do in my lip swatch parties. I'll show you swatches on my hand as well as swatches on my lips and just give you a little look into some of these shades. So let's get to it. Okay, so this first one here is number 24 Burnt Sienna. I really like this shade. Now this is one that I think it like the swatches online make it look like it would be a little bit lighter um, but on me it's definitely a darker sort of like a burgundy wine sort of a shade but it's really really beautiful so i think the swatch online might like make it look a little bit more on the mauvey side but i think it is a little bit more of a deep shade so really really pretty this one really does like even out nicely. I know a lot of times these deeper shades can kind of be a little bit patchy, but this one really isn't. It's beautiful. This one is really pretty. This is number 25 Coral Sunset. And this one is almost like a dark burnt coral color. So it's moving towards a red, but it's just got that like dark orangey sort of a shade to it, but it's got this like depth to it and it's not bright. So I really like that about it. It's more on the muted deeper side. It's really really a pretty and unique color I like this one a lot I really don't have anything like this in my collection at least that I can think of this next one is number 33 pink peony and this one on me is pretty light by itself so I have worn this one before um, but I just usually wear it with a lip liner because it's it's pretty light I mean it's it's almost where I could wear it by itself, but I just prefer to wear it with a lip liner. So it's a very kind of like nude color, um, but it's kind of like a cool tone nude. It's really, really pretty. It has like that slight pinky tone to it. Really cool, like almost a gray pink kind of a tone to it. So it's a unique sort of a shade, I think. Next is number 35, Bohemian Purple. This one is really another cool, unique sort of a shade. It's a purple, but then it has kind of like a grayish sort of a tone to it. So normally I'm not a big fan of purples on me. I just don't feel super comfortable in them. And this one's still out of my comfort zone, but I think because it has that kind of like muted grayish sort of a tone to it, I do really like it. It does make your teeth look a little bit yellow, but I still think it's a fun color and I still really like this one. Next is number 37, Pink Frosting. And this one is kind of like a deeper version of Pink Peony, but it has a little bit more like mauve tones to it. It's really a pretty one, a little bit more purpley, a little bit more mauve a little bit deeper than Pink Peony, but still kind of in that same family of like a cool toned neutral sort of a shade. So really do like this one too. This one's a little bit edgy, a little bit different. So I think this one is a really like cool, literally cool toned, but also cool meaning neat sort of a color. <laughs> this one is number 38 Sweet Raspberry. And this one's a really pretty kind of like, I don't know, magenta raspberry sort of a shade. I really kind of debated about getting this one because I don't wear these colors as much anymore, but I still really like them. <laughs> I still think they're really pretty and girly and just fun shades. So this one reminds me a little bit of Too Faced, um, the Melted Matte in Bend and Snap, but this one seems to be a little bit more pink. I think that one's a little bit deeper, but still in that same sort of family. It's just a fun magenta raspberry sort of color, but it's not crazy bright. It's a little bit on the muted side, which I really do like. This one is number 39, Frozen Strawberry. And this one is a little bit more brown on me than I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. I think I thought it was gonna be a little bit lighter, but on me it's pretty dark and a little bit edgy, but I don't know why I'm making this swatch so giant over here. I'm just still working on the swatch for some reason. But I do like that it's a little bit edgy, so it wasn't quite what I was expecting it to be, but I do really like it because it is kind of like a cool toned grayish brown sort of a shade really a neat color i like that one a lot you can see how it compares with the other ones over there a little bit close to that one but not crazy close 
So I don't know that you would need both. This one is, I think, pink frosting, and that one is frozen strawberry. So, you know, you could choose like which one you like. So a little bit similar, but not quite exactly the same. This one's a little bit more purpley. That one's a little bit more on the brown side. This next one is one of my very favorites. This is number 40, Pink Tea. And it's just a beautiful nude. And for me, it's like an everyday nude color. It's like a peachy pinky nude. It's just that like perfect combo right in between. Not too light, not too dark. So for me, this is like an everyday nude. I love, love, love this one. Like it a little bit more than that one just because this one's more on the gray side. So that one's just a little bit more edgy. This one I feel like is more just that everyday kind of a color. So I really like this one a lot. And the last one that I have to show you is number 42, Rosewood. And this is just like a beautiful dark red color. It's really, really pretty. So it's got like that edginess to it. Let me get this swatched for you. So it's got that like, I don't know, edginess to it because it's got that like depth to it. It's really, really pretty. So it's just kind of like a deep blood red sort of a color. Very kind of neutral looking, not super, meaning not super warm or not super cool tone, just kind of right in the middle, but it has that depth to it. So if you like an edgier, um, deeper toned red, I think you'd really like this one. If you like more of the bright reds, this one not, might not be your cup of tea, but I really, really like this one. All right guys, so those are all the swatches for all the new shades that I personally picked up. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please hit a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below if you've checked out any of the new shades. I'd love to know your favorites. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.